Hey everyone, welcome to Sketch a Day Live. It is Friday. What day is it? August 21st, something like that. <clears throat> hope you had a good Friday. As always, hope you're having fun. We're about to have some fun drawing. Uh, just a quick shout out here or call out. I get a lot of questions about stuff I use. So if you're curious, you can visit sketchaday.com slash stuff and that will have a link to all the stuff I use. So if you're ever curious, if you got questions, whatnot, that is where you want to be. All right, so we'll kick things off here with, of course, taking your suggestions um, like we always do. I have no idea what I'm going to draw today, so I'm going to warm up a little bit. Sorry, I just had to open up quick time here if you're joining on Instagram. Stream will only go for about an hour. Um, also, if you want the full widescreen experience, you'll want to head over to youtube.com slash sketchday.com, as well as if you want to participate in chat. What's up, Luke? Latrice, hello. Yeah, so I have no idea what I'm drawing today. <laughs> I guess that's the theme as of late, but I do enjoy your suggestions, so those coming maybe I'll do like a watch I could do some watches a watch page that'll be fun what's up Ricky fancy seeing you here you don't even need to be here Ricky and I go way back to product design forum days we make sure my audio is on point here product design forums days that's uh, a long time ago is what 15, 13 years ago? Has to be about 15 years ago. 2004, yeah, yeah, 2004, 2005. So we go way back. Funny seeing you here. Anyhow, we're just gonna get drawing circles, lines, ellipses, all that good stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll do a watch. We could do some sort of buggy, perhaps. Um, maybe some sort of creature. I don't know. I don't know yet. We could do some interior vignettes. Hello, cartoon. Thank you for joining. If it's your first time on the YouTube, hit subscribe so you don't miss the streams. Definitely don't cross the streams. Who knows what would happen. So I think next week I'm going to try and simulcast on Facebook as well. See how that goes. I'll let you guys know. Will I? I guess you'll know by default how it goes. I just can't pay attention to everyone and everything at the same time. That's the challenge. So that's why I'm like, if you want to chat, come hang out on YouTube. That's the one I pay attention to at least. Sometimes I peek at the Insta, but if you want to catch my attention, YouTube is the place to be. All right, let me pin this link. Did I? Nope, there's a link. I'll pin this. What's up, Svetlana and Art? Ooh, cooking. What's, uh, what's cooking in the kitchen today? I wonder. As crazy as 2020 has been, it's been a good year. I'm grateful to be able to do this, be here with you. Thanks for taking time to join and hang out. If all you want to do is watch, that's cool. If you just want to follow along, that's cool too. If you want to leave some hateful comments, wait till after the stream. Post them in the comment section. <laughs> but no matter what, hit subscribe. Turn on alerts so you don't miss out. All right. I also need to do a better job of updating my video thumbnails. I've gotten a little, a little sloppy. So I'll work on that. All right, I'm just warming up with some ellipses here. Getting started. Concept wheel and tire. Concept wheel and tire. I mean, pen and paper isn't the best way to do that. But I would probably do it by 
you know, having a few, a few sketches here, just for placement purposes. Yeah, I'd probably start with something like this. Um, ideally, you'd want to kind of map out some designs, I think. That's just what I think anyways. And this is incredibly difficult to do on paper. So props to um, designers of the past who used to do this. But let's say we wanted to do some wheels. I'll start with that. And these aren't going to look perfectly symmetrical. At least I don't think so. But what I'm imagining is kind of, since I'm doing a five segment here, kind of a break like this. So as I place these, it's kind of what I'm, what I'm thinking. Also, I probably could have used pencil. I don't know why I just rotated the paper all the way around, but I just did. <laughs> It's all good. Speaking of wheels, I'm behind on a project. I'm supposed to be designing some some wheels or rims. So V, if you're watching, <laughs> I got you. Um, but yeah, just kind of segment these out. It's a lot easier and cleaner to do digitally for sure. But we can we can get something here. So for those who don't know, Ricky's the inventor of the paper made flare. Just kidding, he's not. But uh, I am curious, Ricky, who is the inventor? You might know. He used to work at the company that sold them. If you're still watching, that is. Curious. All right, so maybe we have something crazy like this. Marker should help bring this alive all right original French ratatouille nice so yeah like I was saying marker should kind of help here uh, let's see if that's inside that's facing upward so yeah, just kind of pick where where your light falls on these. You can do cross sections if that if that helps. Yeah, but you might start with something like that. Ray says, "Please sketch footwear." Ray, I will ask. Have you explored my channel yet? I'll sketch your shoe, but I'm asking, have you explored the channel? Because if you have, you would know I have a lot of footwear sketches on the channel. But I'm just curious. I'm curious. It's all good. No fear. No worries. But yeah, in terms of a quick exploratory sketch that you can kind of use to, um, you know, at least conceptualize the design, that's kind of how I'd do it. And then in a digital sketch program, you're able to get that, you know, symmetry all the way around. So it's a little bit easier. But important to be able to sketch on paper as well, I think. That's just me. Maybe I'm a weirdo, but it's worked over the years. I've just been I've been on this like light marker, light um, color kick right now. So I know a lot of the last few streams, a lot of the sketches haven't really had color. So yeah, I could totally see this being on like a a truck or something, something like that. So maybe you want to translate this in perspective or at least some variation of it. I don't like to rotate things in perspective if I can help it just because um, there are better ways to kind of do that. But let's give it a give it a spin here. Give it a little 
twirl. So yeah, perhaps not instructional if ins uh, informational, but you know, just throwing these lines on, and then I'll figure out in 3D what the hell was actually happening in this sketch. All right, let's see if Ricky responded. Redesigned it several times. <laughs> How dare you, Ricky? It's a classic. It's a classic, man. Also the title of a Jadena song. Classic man. All right, uh, where was I? There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some black in here. I didn't really have this on the initial sketch, but it's a little, little hole or cavity, but I'm gonna throw that in here. And then let's play with how deep this goes. Maybe have a little surface return there and we've got our let's see one two three four five lugs something like that so yeah making some changes on the fly here for this crazy wheel concept uh, just doing a quick quick mental calculation here guys so offsetting is one of the most powerful ways you can use to show um, depth. So for example, if I have a shape like this and I offset it like this, but then I make the line weight here heavier and then just connect these, right? I'm now saying that there's a pass through, especially if I make this line weight heavier as well. So what I'm just doing right here is just offset and then I can just fill this in. We can just scratch that in real quick. So think of strategies that help, just ways to think of your form, your shapes, and so on. It'll make sketching a lot easier for you. All right. I guess if you're watching me on a Friday evening, you either really love this or you got nothing to do. But I respect both. It's all good. I can respect both of those. All right. Maybe a couple dots here to finish out this crazy wheel concept that is implausible, if not impossible. throw some black in that I didn't have in the other sketch but again sometimes what I like to do is vary things from view to view not in an effort to confuse the viewer but just kind of imagine what the variant would look like so I don't have to do a new variant um, plus if I really 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 wanted to describe what was happening in the center there are better ways to do that by using things like scale. So just zooming in on that area, for example. So for now, that's kind of enough. All right, let's do another one. We'll do one more here, um, maybe related to something here. Um, how about we just do a simple, like four spoker, four spoker, and then I'll do something more complex could do an eight spoker those are easy just start with something like this and then we can translate that as well you know pretty standard here but maybe we can do something to kind of spice it up as well again just quick sketch make my divisions hint at some lugs here Okay, and then maybe design a bit more. This is not a perfect circle, by the way. Which happens to also be the name of a band. Welcome to Sketch a Day. Uh, pun edition, dad joke edition. It's been a while since I've told a dad joke. 
What did the bartender say to the hot dog when he walked into the bar? What did... What did the bartender say to the hot dog when he walked into the bar? Maybe I'll add some color on this. What did the hot dog say? Or sorry, the bartender say to the hot dog. Any guesses, any ideas? No? Thank you, Bradley. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, pretty standard on this one, but you know, maybe spice it up with some color or something. It's like, okay. It's like a little lemon slice, but we got the color going on. Let's go ahead and throw in some reflection lines or whatever around the perimeter here. The purpose of this, by the way, as a symbol, is meant to show this kind of happening on the rim, where at this point, we would get like the horizon, whatever, being compressed into that reflection. So that's why that's right there, okay? Let me zoom in a little bit for you YouTubers so you can see. So if this was like a mountain range or something, and then here's that <laughs> rim, you're going to get that horizon compressed we're gonna get ground reflection here sky and so on but that gets a little bit more complex as well Kanad says we don't serve food here that's a yeah that's pretty close I was gonna say we don't serve your kind here it's a uh, maybe <laughs> maybe too soon to be using that expression given the racial tensions in the United States but United States I should say but um, Hopefully YouTube doesn't ban me. Just kidding. They won't. So yeah, maybe we have another concept here. Um, trying to figure out how to resolve this, actually. It's actually kind of cool. So maybe some weird surfacing thing in here. I'll do another circle. Super quick. All right, so after these rims, what shall I sketch? What shall I sketch? Should I do footwear again? But yes, the bartender said we don't we don't serve your kind here. All right, so the shadows totally help when you're doing these. So just be thoughtful about where you place your shadows. It's going to help your concepts read better. I got like three people watching on Instagram. <laughs> Maybe it's just a terrible time because it is Friday. Maybe. All right, a little shadow here. And now let's do, I'll just do a different one. I'll just do some curve lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so for these, I usually just put like a little bump, and then I'll come back like so, through to the center, whatever that looks like. Okay, and then for treads, if you want to go through the trouble of creating a tread pattern, that's that's totally fine. You can kind of you can do that. You know, several ellipses here. If there's something interesting about your wheel, you can certainly do that. So I don't particularly enjoy it. But that's, that's basically how I would do it, right there. And then on the rims now, you know, kind of decide what the design's gonna be. Um, I'm just gonna draw a little line off here, right? And then connect those, like so. I'll draw an ellipse, connect like that. And so if I just draw 
that little shape. It kind of helps the spokes on the rim feel more 3D. All right, so something you can try there. Just instead of just two lines, do three. It's a little bit messy right here, but I can obscure that a bit. You can obscure that a bit with some marker. So notice on the, the tire here, as I'm drawing it, I'm actually rotating these um, details. <laughs> I'm just rotating these through. And that's, that's just something you can observe on a cylindrical shape if you pay close enough attention and have something on it that is in a repeated pattern um, you're gonna have that angle change okay so that's what's happening there I'll just shade this in with my paper made flare just like so alright And let's just add just a little line weight on the inside and the outside here. Turn that into a shadow. All right, so nothing fancy about this rim, actually. Um, I could probably do some sort of insert on each of these spokes. But yeah, nothing, nothing super fancy about this one. Cyborg or Rims Dragon. <laughs> and just a little gray here. So I don't know where everyone is at who's watching, but I am curious. Are you guys still in quarantine, lockdown, wherever you are, are things eased up? I just saw in the realm of good news, um, a study came out that shows there might actually be lasting immunity with this thing. So if you get it once, your body may be prepared to handle other instances of it so that's exciting that's exciting for sure all right so there's my page of some wheels you can run fusion on the ipad oh you can't you can't i thought you said you could luke i was like what i do like fusion though what do you use luke are you a fusion person something else solidworks katia rhino what do you use? All right. So I think uh, the next request was for a shoe. Cyborg dragon with a Paul Sohi beard. Oh. <laughs> a cyborg dragon with Paul Sohi beard. Beard. Whew. Um, wow. Okay. Okay. That's that's quite the request. It's gonna take some overlays, but I think I could do it. Um, I think I could do it. Oh, nice, Lori. Thanks for joining. Remote learning starts on Monday in Denver. Man, cyborg dragon with a Paul Sohi beard. So I, I think I want the dragons head to be somewhere there and then I would have the neck 
somewhere there, which means the body is going to be there. And yeah, something like this. And then I'm going to do inverted horns on my dragon. And maybe this is this dragon's butt. It's right there. And then we can do tail. Something like that. Um, as far as the wings go, I guess they'd be kind of just hanging out. Whatever they, they look like. Alright, so maybe I could start with something like this <clears throat> but you said cyborg dragon so it's got to be like part real right and part not real so where does the cyborg part come in that's the question all right, so hopefully you guys kind of see what I'm doing here. I don't do a lot of like fantasy stuff, but I'm just trying to map out with lines kind of my my plan. And then once I have that, it's a little bit easier to add the details, whatever shading that we're going to do, okay? Um <laughs> Donkey from Shrek. I need to look up Paul Sohi, actually. Because I don't have... Let's see. I don't have a picture of him handy. Alright, so there we go. Um, can I share this? I cannot share this. But I can share... I can share a link to his Instagram in the... YouTube chat. So this dragon needs to have a beard. Um, and it's a cyborg dragon. This is like the craziest request I've ever had, Ricky, but because it's you, I'm gonna do it. Just because it's you, because we go way back. All right, so the beard, I guess the eyes, I gotta figure out where are these dragon's eyes gonna be? Like, do we want this thing to look sinister? Do we want it to look happy? Is Paul happy most of the time? Is he grumpy? I know Paul a little bit. This music is driving me crazy. Sorry, I gotta skip this one artist. Uh, let's go. Ricky, I'm waiting for you to drop some beats, by the way. Although you did connect me with your friend, the problem is some of his tracks were um, getting me in copyright trouble. So I was like, I, I can't do this right now. All right, so there's the arm. Um, maybe the arm would be a good candidate for some sort of cybernetic component. Maybe a, a chest plate of some sort for this cyborg robot or dragon I should say and then the arm can kind of meet up in here okay we got the wing all right I think I'm in I think I'm in a good spot so let's do beard Um, okay, it's more like it's so it's like a full. <laughs> How do you put a mustache on a dragon? That's the question. How do you put a mustache? Okay, so if the dragon's nose is right about here, for example, my dragon. How do we put a a beard? Maybe it's not a beard. It's just like some lines right there at least, and then the beard can be like right here or something yeah I like that and then as far as the eyes go I 
I'm just gonna do something like this. But he has a beard. You should uh you should tell Paul I'm drawing. Should I put shades on him? Shades on the dragon? Cyborg ger gerbil with a tiny minigun. <laughs> Maybe another time. I think this is the only cyborg I'm going to be drawing. Cyborg thing I'm going to be drawing on the stream today. I think. think so. <laughs> Alright, so maybe we got something like this. And then I'm going to borrow a technique that I observed. I hope I can do it justice, but I'm going to borrow a technique from a person on the Insta that I like. The name is Dibuh, Dibuho, Dibuha. Nocturno. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of create some texture with my pen here where I need it. And then when I apply my marker, I'm gonna apply it to these kind of textured areas. So yeah, I hope I hope I do it justice. Um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, If I find it, I'll share the link with you. Ah, there we go. Yeah, Dibuja, Dibujante Nocturno. All right, here we go. So check that dude out. Super awesome, super talented. But I'm just gonna borrow a little bit from his technique. Just for some, some texture work here. Yeah, not not something I typically do, but um, can always try new things. We can always try new things. You know, if I were doing this again, I'd probably move the head a little bit more centered, but it's all good. And I believe. They use uh, ballpoint or bureau to do this, so it's probably going to look a little bit different. All right, so this this armor cyborg portion of our dragon, I want to be kind of chrome and shiny, almost like yeah, like armor. And then maybe the wings can be chrome, or the tail could be like. You know those like snake toys that you used to buy as a kid or have as a kid? Yeah, maybe it can be like that. Um, and then I think I'll use the brush pen for... I'm having way too much fun with this. Thank you so much for the... <laughs> Suggestion. It's kind of fun. Um, so this is dragon's dragon's hand. I'm gonna give it an opposable digit so it can grab things. It is nice to do something that is not specifically product, I will say. All right, so a little bit of a cheat here. I'm saying the arms covering the leg, so on, so forth. All right, a little bit of sleight of hand, if you will. But 
Like, maybe the dragon should have some sort of... cybernetic stuff going on. And then I gotta get the beard. Paul Sohi beard. I wanna make it look cool too, though, you know? So yeah, check out check out that artist if you like illustration, looking for a different style or something. Check them out. Him, them, they. Yeah, I'd move the head if I were doing it again, but alas, I cannot do that. All right, so this will be black. Do a little shadow here. decide if I should do some sort of background. I guess if I wanted this to be a real cybernetic dragon of some sort, maybe there's cables in here somewhere. Alright, but I was saying I want, want this armor to be kind of chromey. I'm going to add another piece over here. And right now I'm just mapping out some reflections. Um, I'll come back in and fill these in, but um, Just wanted to fill these in so I remember where I'm going to shade in. I got my markers handy. For the most part. So Sketch Day Live, thanks for joining. to YouTube chat. Sorry, but ignoring you guys. Oh. Yeah, so the, the little trick here now is just in these textured areas, I'm going to apply the marker or markers very carefully. And know that Instagrammer did not teach me how they do how to do this. I just kind of deduced from the drawings what's happening but it's a cool look if you have a tombow 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 <laughs> marker you could probably do this as well probably Probably do the same thing. All right, so this is a chart pack marker. Again, if you're curious about the markers I use, all of that stuff is on the website under stuff I use. Check that out. All right, we're supposed to have like a Paul Sohi beard here, so I gotta, 
I gotta figure, factor that in somehow. I've ever tried graffiti. I have not tried graffiti, Bradley. It's illegal. Just kidding. I haven't tried. Um, some of my really good friends have, though. Um, I don't want to out anyone, but yeah, graffiti can be beautiful. As a child, I was always a low risk. Like, I didn't want to take too many risks. Which is interesting. One of my sons is just like that. Um, but I never wanted to take, like, tons of risks. So, graffiti is not one of those things I likely would have tried. likely one of those things I would have tried. Alright, so I'm just gonna throw some shapes in here for the wings because I didn't really plan those out. And this is just a, a brush pen. This is a pit artist pen that I'm using. the rest of the black on this I'll finish with ah Ricky tried it no I never did man I never did all right so the rest of this I'll finish with my jumbo jumbo marker here that I like to use oh the smell it smells like rotten eggs and gasoline that's what this this marker smells like. Uh, let's see. Should I put a background in? Dare I? Mm, no, I'm not going to do it. I probably should, but I'm not going to do it. Just because I don't want to use all my ink. And now the beard. Paul has a very thick beard, so I'm just going to use the shape of this lower section hatched in to represent that beard. So it's not exactly a beard, you know, but it is, but not exactly. You know what I mean? Just a symbolic, symbolic beard here. So again, just using that technique and let's see, that was a two, do I have a three or was that a one? Hmm. We'll find out soon enough. Okay, so now I can come back over and hit some of these spots, create some texture on our dragon now that it's nice and dry. So this is this is actually a good opportunity to teach something <laughs> to you guys. Um, it's okay to look at someone's style and say I'm gonna try that because ultimately you're not going to. Um, I mean, you want to give credit, of course, and so that's why I shared the link, letting you guys know where I was pulling this from. But um, ultimately, this drawing will look very different from uh, Dibu Dibujante Nocturnos because it's going through the filter of 
me, my experience, how I draw, my arms, my eyes, all that stuff is going to make it unique. So unless you're like one to one, one for one copying something, it's not going to look exactly the same. You know, so you don't have to be shy about trying to learn by by mimicking someone else's style. In fact, it's it can be one of the fastest ways to learn something. Um, just make sure you give credit. If you do that, credit where credit's due. All that good stuff, all right? Ergo Josh three times challenge. I don't know what that is. Ergo Josh three times challenge. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that is. <laughs> so I didn't end up using a brush pen on this one. This is just regular printer paper, nothing special here. <laughs> this is probably too intense of a gray, but this is a 70% uh, gray, something like that. Switch to a 50 here. So even as I'm shading this arm, I'm trying to think of it as being somewhat cylindrical. All right, think about your light source, where you're gonna get the most contrast, things like that. If you are gonna get, for example, a shadow all across one arm, but not the other. So things you can kind of think through as you're lighting your uh, object, whatever you're drawing. All right, so there is my weird cyborg dragon. Weird cyborg dragon that has a Paul Sohi beard for Ricky Biddle. <laughs> All right, I'll do a shoe next. We'll do a shoe. Whoa, time flies. Okay, shoe might be the last one that I do. Or we could do a few shoes. We could do a boot. A boot of some sort. Some sort of boot. Could be fun. start with something like that I'm so used to drawing athletic shoes though that some of these uh, breaks wouldn't necessarily be so so I'm gonna bring this up and actually just drop it down for this overlay and then Maybe connect, connect up. This could be kind of cool. And then just have a break right in there. And then as far as, you know, laces, I'm going to put some eye stays down. Start here. And just start lacing up.
Uh, let's see. I guess that would go up. I'm gonna cheat. I'm cheating a little bit here, but even better, what I can do is put a little, little tab for the lace right there, so I can cheat. So that's a that's a definite cheat. Okay, that is a cheat. Um, but if you're careful, a lot of times you can mask a lot of that stuff, and no one will know. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'll get the rest of these lugs on. A little shadow under here. Maybe we can do another shoe after this too. Kind of like the idea of this, like, cutting down right through there. And then maybe the tooling continues through, like so. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's put a loop on our tongue. Maybe continue that down. Yeah, so then at least it has kind of a story, right? This little midsection. All right, so we can kind of do something like that. This is a really weird boot. So once again, with sketching, try and experiment holding your pencil a little bit differently. You know, if you're used to uh, holding it like this, you can't really see your drawing, but if you back off, you can kind of see, see what's happening. change this panel cut here just a little bit all right so I've got enough here interesting different perspective and we can even vignette our design with something topical plan out my shadow there All right, I don't have any cheap browns, so I'm gonna use, actually I do have brown gray. So I'm using these Spectrum Noir markers that I've never used before. And I'm using them on printer paper and trusting that they'll work for me. <laughs> but I could be totally ruining this right now. I don't think I will, but it could be. Just like that, boom. Okay, so I got some, some color uh, continuity story happening here, maybe with materials. I'm gonna do colored laces. I think it'll help this pop. And then I'm gonna do some breathing holes right through there. All right, so we'll start with something like that. And then, hmm. Yeah, I like the yellow I was using before. So I'm just gonna use that for my laces. Then, just to cover up my little mistake here, I'm gonna use this nice red. These are the McDonald's shoes. Let's use some red marker, kind of fill that in. You know, maybe something like that. Let's do the rest now. Um, hmm. 
I guess I could have yellow here. And then maybe I'll do some material stuff. So the yellow doesn't feel too odd. Start with that. And then the heel. And the rest of this business. I'm going to switch to this gray. My kids just came home from their friend's house, so if you hear little people, that's what it is. as well. Hey Dad, can me and Nika and Ollie play no. on the iPad? No. All right. Okay, they just came over with a friend. Sorry about that. So let's get that brown in, and then now I'm gonna see if I can darken this up in certain spots. So Sketch Day Live, once again, thanks for joining, being a part of this. Thinking um, here, like I was saying, maybe there's some breathing holes I can put in. I don't know what the technical term, wicking holes? I don't know what the technical term is for these. I don't love winter, but one of the things I like about winter is boots. <laughs> I love all the boot options. Have. It's kind of nice. All right, let's put some stitch lines here. Just hint at a little texture. What's up, Milos? Did you get your stickers? That was Leo. They got their video games taken away for a time. I'm not going to shame them by saying why, but um, yeah. So I'm like, you got to earn them back. I can just kind of work on some of the line weight here. This is what I love about the paper made flare. No, they don't pay me to say this stuff. It's just a great pen. And also the power of contrast in helping bring out details where you need them, or emphasis, I should say. You know, super handy.
All right. Let's wrap up this boot. So I had this like background element here. I think I will use black for it. Just this fatty marker. You know, just another way to have some sort of background element that suggests the context a bit. And then shadow on the bottom. Just keep it nice and loose. I like this marker because it's so hard to control and you get these like nice Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Aside from getting high, you kind of get these nice uh, random like tail off ends to it. Feels kind of nice. So I do like that about this marker. Okay. I think this will be my last sketch today. So just want to say thank you for hanging out with me. I don't usually come on Saturday, but I might tomorrow. I'm thinking about it. I hope you do. Um, oh, shoot. Let me look at my phone here because I want to give a special, specialish shout out. Actually, I don't need to look at my phone. Fraser, Fraser Pike, thank you for being our newest patron. Thank you. So, if you want to support, be a part of supporting your artists check out patreon.com slash sketch a day um hoping to get back on my my usual schedule here soon but um sharing behind the scenes stuff uh giving you updates you do get a free sticker when you sign up um i'll give you access to brushes the high resolution scans from the stream uh, access to words of encouragement and love and appreciation. Those are free though. Oh, and there's a Discord channel for patrons, so if you need to reach me for some reason, um, or you have a question or whatever, um, you can hit me up there. All right. Um, Luke's a patron. We've got Svetlana and Art. Latrice is here as well as a patron. So thanks again for your supports. Much love to you and much appreciated. Sincerely, it means, a, it means a lot. So, just want to say that. It means a lot that you're here too, if you're just watching. So, thank you. All right, a couple more things because they're going to drive me crazy. Just a little shadowing. Some of these laces. All right, just a little, little three D work. All right, what am I gonna do after the stream? I'm gonna get back to working on my website. Sometimes it's hard for me to just be like, okay, it's ready to launch. Just launch it. I think I'm in the overthinking phase of my site right now because I probably could launch it tonight, but um, I'm going to give it just a little bit more time. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for watching and hanging out. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Ricky, for <laughs> entertaining the chat. Bradley, thanks for the ideas. Um, patrons as well. Much love, like I said much appreciated and uh like i said i might come back tomorrow i don't know yet um i've got some stuff going on during the day but it'd be fun to just draw with you um love the suggestions just as a quick recap we did our <laughs> cyber dragon thing here um we also did our wheels we got ben kosef pulling up like hello bro man you missed the whole show anyhow we got some wheels <laughs> that we did uh, freehand um, our little dragon here from Ricky and then finally just a shoe slash boot concept slash idea 
All right, so just a reminder, patreon.com slash sketchaday if you want to support. Um, check out the Sketchaday website, tons of resources. Uh, there's a blog. There are brushes for Procreate and Photoshop. Um, there's even like posters and stickers if you want. Um, you can contact me about tutoring, training, workshops. That's also there as well. Lots of information and more updates coming soon on that. Um, it's been awesome. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm having fun teaching you guys on a personal basis, but also sharing on the stream. So I'm going to keep doing what I do here, but I appreciate the support. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday. I am going to enjoy some time with the kiddos and like I said, finish my website. So with that, peace and love to you. Much love and I'll see you next time, hopefully, right here on Sketch A Day. Like and subscribe. Bye guys.